Greetings, this is Jesse from Nintendo Dads with a VOD Let's Play. I would have streamed it, but Tim's streaming a different game, so I'll just record it and post it later. Of Gravatar Recharged. I think this is from Atari. Yeah, Publishers Atari. So, description from the eShop page. A lone pilot. Far from home must navigate an abstract universe of uncharted planets and space stations guarded by mysterious, hostile aliens in Gravatar Recharged. You must complete missions in each solar system, navigate a variety of challenging environments, each with varying levels of gravity that will, will test your skills as a pilot. Compete each mission. Complete each mission within a solar system and you'll be transported to the next through a massive black hole. Will you ever make it home? Key features, arcade mode, fly from planet to planet and progress through ever more challenging solar systems in a quest to get home, missions, 24 taxing challenges with global leaderboards, power-ups, pick up power-ups with your tractor beam, including homing missiles and EMP disruptors, and co-op play and get in the groove, Megan McDuffie continues to deliver with an ambient score that transports you into the depths of the unknown. This is this was given to me at, as a review copy. So thanks to Atari and the PR firm for giving that to us. And with that, anyway, with that, let's get this started. Fifty. That's old. Sneaky box. Press A to play. Okay, let's look at settings. Graphics. Screen shake, yes. Colorblind mode, normal. What are the other options? Oh. That's, uh... Very... That has more options than I would have expected. You kind of have to know what kind of color blindness you are for that to help. Audio, gameplay. Yeah, give me vibrations. Let's start our, with arcade mode. Modify my game for an additional score. Single life, no power-ups, or no shield. Uh, let's just do normal play. Well, okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I guess I have to stay in the solar system orbit. If I can control myself. Where did that thing go? Oh! Now what? Apparently, I have shields if I do ZL. These are the same color as me. If I touch them, I can. Steal the intelligence.
Okay, well that was a waste of a, of a weapon. Ow. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, just spit me out. Land on a planet. I was expecting to go back to the main menu and not just throw it into another game. So this planet has gravity, because if I do nothing, I'll fall. Ah! Okay, that gives me this one again. I don't like the whole gravity thing. Of course, that's part of the uh, point of the game, I guess, with the name like that. I can't control myself. Come on. No, oh, it didn't. No, no!
Right, okay, good. They don't have to start over. How do I activate a beacon? Wow, that thing's got a has na some nasty gravity. Okay, I just have to be in its radius long enough. One way to do it. A thrust. I didn't realize I had a limit. activate beacons again. Without crashing into the damn planet.
finally got it. Where's the other beacon? Well, I think I'm going to stop here. I'm not liking this game. I don't like shooters. Kind of don't know why Justin gave me this coat. Probably just because he saw Atari on it and thought I would like it. I don't know. But if you like shooters, if, and if you're good at being at minor maneuverability, then you might like this game. But I'm not a fan. So I don't know how long I was recording for. I'll find out when I edit this. Thanks for watching.